What's up guys? Supercar Street Racing. And I just picked up a Polk Audio powered subwoofer. Been looking for a powered sub to replace one in my uh, living room that failed. But I eventually want a repair. Almost bought a brand new one on Amazon. But, uh, oh wow, this guy just pulled straight out in front of me. Speaking of Amazon. Uh, just pulled directly out in front of me and almost hit me and now doing two miles per hour. Um, got this Polk, I think it's a PSW 10. Picked it up off of uh, Facebook Marketplace for 30 bucks. They sell for 150. It needs to be cleaned up and refurbished. So I'm gonna take you guys through that, but um, I don't know if you can see it there because it's the front camera. But I'm um, gonna show you guys how I'm gonna clean this up get it ready to go and then how I'm going to deploy it in my house. All right guys, this is my other PSW 10 that I use in my office. I don't run the front grill. I do have this nice, pretty nice grill for it. It's got a few little issues, but um, the one that I just purchased is ripped. Now you're going to figure out really quick if you get a PSW 10 that the front grills are noisy. And when I went to pick up this PSW 10, it was already rattling and when I took the grill off, I wanted to make sure that the driver was in good shape. I took the grill off and it stopped rattling. So this is the other one that came with the one I just got. As you can see, it's pretty shot. Um, also, we need to clean this up completely and it looks like the uh, bolts are a little bit rusty. Um, I'm going to pull one out right now and see what they are and maybe run to the hardware store and see if I can find something to replace them with. Hopefully they fit. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. They may not fit. We're going to go ahead and try this right now, though. Um, got some... Got my trusty this with one missing, but I know I got this small one. I believe it was an 8. Maybe I don't have that one. Wait, is it this one? Oh, that's too big. Way too big. Might be this guy. Let's see. Think it's. Yeah. Alright, guys, so back at the PSW 10, right here. You can see the volume control here, pretty dirty. Everything's dirty on this thing. There's an auto on switch, which he just had it on on. There's your uh, left and right inputs. You have a LFE only out of your uh, amplifier receiver. You'll have to split it because otherwise you'll only get half of the signal because this doesn't have an LFE. We've got the speaker level outputs and speaker level inputs. If you wanna feed this with your receiver speaker level outputs, totally fine. No issues with that. Some people like, and I don't know if I agree with this, some people think that speaker level have a little bit more punch to them. I'm like, I don't know about that. So you can see there where it had the little issues up there that I can probably either just touch up with my Sharpie or my paint Sharpie pen. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this really good. All this stuff is really dirty. Should have seen the place it came from. It's pretty gross. Switches and the knobs are all like filthy. Hopefully the potentiometers aren't dirty. If they are, I'll take the amplifier out and spray those with contact cleaner. I mean, it's covered with dirt and dust, literally. All the knobs, all the switches, RCA inputs, all super dirty, but it came out nice. Yeah, that came out nice. So we're gonna want this on auto, zero, on phase. Now this is this is to make the woofer go 180 degrees out of phase. Um, you could try that if you have issues with low bass output, flip the switch over to 180. Maybe you have something else that's uh, out of phase with it. Here's a low pass filter. We want it all the way down. We have a uh, mid bass in the ceiling. So we don't need uh, we don't need that up higher than 80 hertz, which is the lowest we can cross over. Now let's walk inside and grab the 
Sharpie and see if we can clean up the edges a little bit. Oh, it feels nice in here. It's hot outside today. All right, looking for my black Sharpie pen here. Shoot, did I lose it? Oh, there it is. So you're gonna find on metal, this black Sharpie is more like purple. But we're going outside to try to touch up this speaker a little bit. So it needs a little bit right here. Let's go ahead and touch this up. Yeah, it doesn't match exactly. It's a little bit different. So maybe if it bothers me too much, I paint the whole top. Or cover it with something like a cloth. But yeah, I got that touched up. This one needs just a touch more. You won't be able to see that from a distance like whatsoever. Now we got one big scratch on the side we need to touch up. Right here. Oh, that's perfect. Can't even see it now. All right, so let's take this bad boy inside now that we got it all cleaned up. I'll worry about the screws later. Let's give it a hookup and see what happens. All right, guys, got the old JBL. Boy, this thing's been a workhorse for almost 20 years, maybe more than that. But it thumps every time it auto senses the power coming on. I, this is actually my outside subwoofer for the, for the patio. Borrowed it as I'm refurbishing my patio right now. So here is the PSW-10. Now, like I said, I've got a better one right around the corner there in the office. Now, I'm gonna show you guys in a separate video my audio system. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in now. No, it works, I uh, verified it at the place. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. So my house is whole home audio, so I have in-ceiling speakers in every room with uh, selector switches. I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. So I have already split, I've got wall plates coming from the receiver that's in the closet in the central part of the house. Splits it off from mono to stereo. So go ahead and plug that in. Um, volume, I'm going to turn about, I don't know, a little bit halfway because it's the signal split like five times to go to. I have um, one, two, three subwoofers in the house for the whole home audio. This is the living room one. Um, so this is going to be there and my little cool LED rock thing goes on top if it doesn't rattle. So that's going there temporarily or permanently, I'm not sure yet. And the JBL ARC10, which is designed for a home theater, this is an ARC sub. I had two of them, one of them fell apart because they're, they're literally, I think, 25 years old. This guy actually looks pretty good right there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the music now off camera because I don't wanna get copyright strict. Actually, it doesn't matter because I don't get paid anyway, but um, be right back. Spinning up music by State Azure, hoping I don't get copyright stricken, but there is the brand new old PSW-10. If we walk around the corner into the office, there's my other PSW-10. These guys are awesome for the price. They're really, really good for the price. Um, I say 100 watts uh, RMS, I think. They handle low frequencies very well. Now, I do have a BIC F12 that's amazing in the home theater room. And then I have that one. And then I also have a JBL sub that's going into the bedroom once I get my bedroom 5.1 set up. This song has absolutely no bass. I'm gonna find something that does. All right, got the royalty-free music playing so I don't get copyright stricken because you know you can't do anything now because you're, oh. Wow. So that was like really overdriving the woofer. There is a reason behind that. I'm gonna explain that in my next video. I'm gonna go over my whole house audio system. But basically I've got a uh, subharmonic bass synthesizer that's driving all these subs. So obviously with a 
entry level subwoofer you're not going to be uh, rocking out that hard with it so that was distorting a little bit i turned down the volume on the input and everything's good so i think i probably will just leave this here and what, look out for my next video i've got a couple videos coming up that are outside of car stuff one's going to be my home whole house audio system and the other one's going to be my smart home so i have kind of a crazy smart home setup as well so i'm going to call this a success for 30 dollars. i mean that was going to cost 150 this thing looks great sounds good you can't see any of the scratches it's not blown and it's i mean i wish you could hear how low this hits but i've got i've got four subwoofers in the house um, and i'll show you all of those on the next video guys supercar street racing here thank you for watching please like and subscribe